Hello everyone and welcome to Seven Days of Science. I am basically nature and I'm here to remind you that Dimetrodon is not a dinosaur and Oculodentavus... Roll the clip! Ah, uh, yes. Thanks, Thor. Because he looked like Thor. And, um, the teleprompter's gone. News the starting off the week. Starting off the news this week is a late follow-up to the picture released last year of a black hole. The first picture of a black hole. A new picture has been published which shows an immense amount of plasma flying away from another black hole. This new image was described in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. And the scientists who published the journal say that this new image was in the background of the original picture. Despite not being the first image, this new picture will further help our understanding of how black holes work, especially the physics around the vicinity of the black holes. Next up is a new paper that has aimed to date and describe two crania from hominins found in a site in South Korea. Dated to between about 2.04 and 1.95 million years old, one of these specimens is therefore the oldest known definite occurrence of the species Paranthropus robustus, and the other specimen is now the oldest known skull with features that look like those seen in Homo erectus. Additionally, these fossils show that the genera Homo, Paranthropus and Australopithecus were all around at the same time as each other about two million years ago. And the story's finished, that was it for that one. Apparently Ben can't write more than three lines. And now, over to the man who's not me. Where's my arm gone? Thank you, Douglas. First of all this week, we have a new species of sauropod dinosaur that was discovered. And can you guess where it's from? That's right, China. Who'd have thought? It's a new species of the genus Omeosaurus, named Omeosaurus puxiani, probably pronouncing that incorrectly, and it lived during the Middle Jurassic. Bits of the vertebral column, fore and hind limbs, and other elements are known for this animal, and while comparisons and cladistic studies shows that it belongs to the Omeosaurus genus, there are also unique anatomical details which indicate that this is a new species, enriching the known diversity of this sauropod taxon. Also in the news is the discovery of several new amber-bearing localities in Australia and New Zealand. Sites in Tasmania have yielded amber dating to the late Triassic and the Paleogene, while in mainland Australia there are locations dating to the late Cretaceous, Paleocene and Eocene. Additionally, there's a late Cretaceous age deposit in New Zealand. The paper explains how these discoveries open up some fantastic new windows into these important times in the Mesozoic and Cenozoic, allowing us to learn more about these polar and subpolar ecosystems, the small organisms included within them, and how they evolved over time. Back to Doug in the studio. Uh, what's that? Drink. Drink? Um... Anyway, that's it for this week's Seven Days of Science. Thanks for watching, and s smash some like buttons or something. And then we'll see you on Sunday.